Well, the announcement of the Nobel Committee that the European Union was receiving the Peace Prize is, I think, a, a surprise to many uh, in that the EU right now is going through a very difficult time because of the Eurozone crisis and the renationalization of political life that's been taking place. But there's no question that the European Union represents one of the great geopolitical peacemaking accomplishments of the modern era. Uh, only 50, 60 years ago, Nazi uh, airplanes were bombing London and the border between Germany and France was a site of unlimited bloodshed. And now you can drive across essentially 27 members of the European Union without border controls. And 17 of them have a single currency. You don't have to change money. And in that respect, it really is revolutionary in its accomplishments. I think the timing is a bit awkward because there were moments in the history of the European Union when its peacemaking effects were clear. Perhaps the Rome Treaty in the 1950s or the Elysee Treaty between Germany and France. But I think in some ways the Nobel Committee may have been thinking Europe needs a shot in the arm right now pre precisely because uh, of its fragility, the, the tensions over the Eurozone crisis. Second thing to keep an eye on is that these experiments in geopolitical engineering are not irreversible. They don't only go in one direction, that is to say, toward more stability and more integration. The United States enjoyed seven decades of integration and stable union and prosperity and fell apart in civil war in the 1860s. Yugoslavia was a stable union. It doesn't exist anymore. There was once something called the Senegambian Confederation. Doesn't exist anymore. Now you have an independent Gambia and an independent Senegal. And all that, I think, says we should watch carefully the future trajectory of the European Union because they're not out of the woods yet. They are not past the point of no return. Indeed, I would say they are, they are experiencing what is perhaps the gravest crisis in the post-World War II era because of uh, the wrangling over how to stabilize the Eurozone. A third thing to keep uh, an eye on is in this crisis, are we in a better place? Are we moving forward? Or is the EU still backsliding? And I think this is a, an issue of, of debate. But I would say that the, the worst is behind the European Union, that we now see a willingness of the European Central Bank to try to stabilize the, uh, the Eurozone by lending money directly through to, uh, to member states. We see the Germans ready uh, and willing to take more of a leadership role to stabilize the Union. So we're still in what is a very tentative period. But my guess is not only will Europe survive this crisis, it will, it will emerge stronger with a banking union, a deeper fiscal union, a deeper political union. Uh, and if so, then I think the award today will, uh, will withstand the test of time and, and Europe will consolidate itself as a zone of peace and prosperity.